Really? Really? Can you hear the difference? Welcome to Fluent American. My name is Jeff, and today we're taking a look at intonation, where to raise and lower your voice. For more information about pronunciation, be sure to subscribe to our channel and take a look at our other videos. But today, again, we're focusing on intonation, how to make your sentences sound more natural. Let's begin by taking a look at falling intonation. Falling intonation is when you lower your voice. Lower. Lower. The opposite of that would be rising, where you go up. Up. Down. Up. Down. Or rising. Falling. When do we use falling intonation? Well, firstly, this will be when we have a sentence or a statement. For instance, in these cases, a pleasure to meet you. You is the falling intonation. A pleasure to meet you. Meet you. Take care. Take care. Care is falling. It's at the end of the sentence. Take care. The keys are on the table. Table. Falling. The keys are on the table. The show was great. Great. Falling intonation. The show was great. One thing you may notice is that before I go down, I go up slightly. So take a look at the word before, the last word. Again, our first sentence, a pleasure to meet you. I go up on meet, then down on you. Meet you. A pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you. Take care. Take, going up slightly. Care, falling. Take care. The keys are on the table. On the table. On the, rising. Table, falling. The keys are on the table. The show was great. Was great. Was, going up. Great, falling. The show was great. We'll also use the falling intonation when we ask information questions. Questions that use words like who or what or why or how. Where are you going? Going. Falling intonation. Where are you going? Who's coming tonight? Tonight. Falling. Who's coming tonight? How are you? You. Falling. How are you? When does the flight take off? take off off falling when does the flight take off what should i bring bring falling what should i bring rising intonation is used for these situations firstly yes or no questions where the answer is either yes or no is anyone home home rising is anyone home? Did he come into work? Work? Did he come into work? Are you sick? Sick? Rising. Are you sick? Should I leave? Leave? Rising. Should I leave? Really? Rising. Really? You can also use rising intonation to show that you're not done speaking or that your idea is unfinished. If you see him, if you see him, going up on him, if you see him, when I left, left, rising, when I left, I thought it was here, but, but, rising, I thought it was here, but, the night I met him, him rising. The night I met him. Let's now look at some sentences that compare falling and rising intonation. I'll say each twice. Do you work here? Do you work here? When did you start? When did you start? Are you busy? Are you busy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you see your friends? Did you see your friends? 
Where were they? Where were they? Is it five o'clock? Is it five o'clock? How much longer will it take? How much longer will it take? This is just a quick introduction to some general intonation patterns. I encourage you to watch this as often as you need to practice and also check out our other pronunciation videos. I encourage you if you speak a language like Spanish, Italian, Japanese, or several other languages to also check out our playlist tab. We have groups of sounds just for speakers of those languages to help them target sounds that are difficult in American English pronunciation. My name is Jeff. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.